Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is prophetic intercession with Amel. You are welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me, God bless you. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I always say I don't believe in coincidences. I know that if God led you here, it should be because he has a prophetic word he wants to give to you through me or an instruction or he wants me to help you in your spiritual walk with him. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for making that decision to click on this video. I pray you never regret it. I pray this channel enriches you spiritually in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen and amen. Today I bring you a prophetic word which says that don't die there. Don't die in your nest. Live now. So many times in the Bible, Christians are being compared to eagles. They are being, um, being uh, I don't know, compared, yes, to eagles because our Christian war with God is almost like how a mother eagle nurses her young. Is compared to how a mother eagle nurses her young. When you just give your heart to Christ, everything you want, God just gives you. Same as how the mother eagle prepares the place to have her children. And when they are in that early stage, she makes a place so comfortable for them that everything they want, they get. She goes out and gets food for them, does everything for them. But there comes a time when you've got to leave that place of your nest because you can, you can only receive what God gives you at that point in time. You, you can't just stay in that place where God gives you everything even without you asking and just die while there. You're never going to know the things you have been able to do by the grace of God that has been made available to you. So this prophetic word is coming to tell you, do not die in your nest. Do not die in that place of com comfort. God has made a lot of grace available to you that if you do not decide to go out and launch out and dead things, you will not know how much God has endowed you with. You will not know how much God has blessed you with. Go out and explore the world. Take giant steps. Take steps of faith and see that and see how god has impacted you with the spirit of faith with the gift of faith do things you never thought you could do and see try to stretch the grace of god upon your life stretch the grace of god upon your life dare things you never thought you could do go out and try to dare try to discover the graces that have been made available to you if you do not dare things you will not know how much god has endowed you don't just sit in one place and ask for basic things ask for your ask for food ask for shelter dare big things dare take giant steps and trust that the grace of God is going to back you. Don't just stay there and die in your nest. Go out and explore the word. They take giant steps and see how God sees you through. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen.